Hello, good evening, dear friends. Let's have a, a cup of uh, coffee. You know, the coffee machine. And some cream. It's not to have too much. Some friends said have too much cream is not good, it's too fat. I think uh, that's a very good point. Yeah, today I am really happy, very happy. Which color should we try today we will use this color? And uh, <clears throat> yesterday I was trying to make some coffee and uh, <clears throat> I just cannot make it good. So I decided to just pour it like this. This way it comes out the best flavor. Mm. It does not uh, look that good, look that fancy. But... Um, <clears throat> Anyway, I am not professional coffee maker, barista, so it's more important I make the coffee more drinkable, edible, than make it pretty, right? Yeah, the coffee is not too bad, of course. Mm. <clears throat> It cannot be as good as uh, from the good coffee shop. And then <coughs> I was searching for how to make coffee and I found some video how to make, uh, how to save big. Mm. It's quite funny. Mm. Sometimes Sometimes we are so <clears throat> into saving money, so crazy about saving money, and we forget to appreciate the craftsmanship of a particular trade, of a particular industry. Mm. I saw there are people saying, <clears throat> There are video, video uh, making a coffee because if you go to a coffee shop, a particular chain, <clears throat> every day you buy a latte. At the end of the year, you end up spending thousands of dollars. So you have to save it. How to save it? You buy cheap uh, material, cheap espresso machine. It's not even an espresso machine. It's a coffee machine with, it's a cough, it's a plastic truck and you press it and use a $10 uh, frother to make the coffee, to make the frosted milk. And then, ah, that's so delicious. It's not true. People if we do not drink coffee, we do not understand the meaning of coffee, the deep things behind it. I do not like people to uh, always say save money and finding cheap substitute. That is not appreciating. That is not appreciating the hard work that people 
put into making a pure, the best things, best thing of their trade. Coffee, they want to make the best coffee of the world. Burger, they want to make best burger of the world. Anything they want to make the best of the world. And they believe in what they are doing. And it's not nice to just say, oh, they are too expensive. I can find some cheap substitute. It's not nice. Sometimes <clears throat> things are expensive for no reason, but more often time things are expensive, things are pretty fairly priced for its own workmanship, craftsmanship, the quality and everything we should appreciate. We should appreciate other people's hard work in making things into the best. I'm so tired and I'm so happy. I am physically exhausted but uh, spiritually very happy. Every time of the year at this time we have a big project so I went to school Sunday morning and afternoon. Now, I, now it's dark. Came back home when it is dark. And, uh, and some volunteers of, uh, we went to our place, our workplace, to work on a big project. And uh, when I finished today, the whole project is not yet finished. And uh, because I have made my effort and uh, working on it, it makes me really feeling happy feel very happy, feel very worthy. And um, yesterday I saw one friend on Facebook, she posted, she was very grateful to teach and, uh, and she just had that aha moment. I am finding the thing that I'm supposed to do, she said, she wrote. I was so touched by these very truthful words. And I commented, these are the moments that defines the meaning of our existence. And today I am experiencing it. I am witnessing, I witness and I am experiencing the moment that defines the meaning of my existence, the meaning of my life. The meaning, many things, but uh, you do one thing and do it right and put your effort into it. It is such a rewarding experience. It's such a, a good feeling a feeling of fulfillment. No matter how good you can reach it, there are people who do better than you, that's of course. There is always people better than us in a particular thing. But uh, just making effort and do as much as you can, do the best of yourself, is a very uplifting experience. It's a very positive energy releasing process. I am just so happy. Exhausted physically and feel very happy. Feel very accomplished. And uh, we had some communication also about work, about, uh, um, about things. And people remind me or criticize, not criticize, is reminding me. And we have, uh, um, and we build up a positive communication 
no uh, no pointing finger, no blaming, and how we solve the problem, we solve the problem different way, and finally, we are working out to solve the problem to a very amicable way and harmoniously solve the problem. And uh, working with people that uh, that truly work things out, not um, not trying to blame each other, not trying to blame others, not trying to to make things make other people's life miserable. Working with good people, with kind people, is a very enriching. Experience. I am just very happy. I'm sorry I'm talking too much. And I hope this video can at least regenerate my thoughts. Been working whole day and no time to think. And uh, there were some bad things happen. We were running short of supply, so I went out to buy it. And then I found I didn't bring my wallet, and then I came back home, <clears throat> and then I was complaining about my family not helping me. And now I am feeling, it's such a wonderful feeling, you have some people you can complain about, you can blame. They do not deserve to be blamed, but you just anyway blame them because you know they are the people that will not will not hurt you will not be hurt by by you if you make something wrong this is a safe place and you have someone to blame for no reason that's such a reach that's such a just such a relief. Imagine you live uh, alone or live uh, with people so distanced. Maybe you live in the same family but hard, so distanced. You cannot blame, you cannot, uh, you cannot be bad. That's, that's a very, that's a very, um, very lonely life or very a very stressful life and um, of course you should not blame people for no reason but uh, you know what I'm talking about right you know I am just so happy so happy let me see if uh, Let me see if I'm good enough to see I go through a I'm tired, I'm exhausted. But I'm very excited, I'm very happy. Happy everyday day and uh, weekend. It can be resting, doing nothing, can be do something positive, can be do something. As long as it's positive energy, it is very, very empowering. Thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and uh, you will have a wonderful holiday. Happy everyday day. Let me try to be prettier.